The 127.6 kilometer Lagos Ibadan Expressway connects Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, and Nigeria's Commercial Nerve Center, Lagos State. The road is also a major route to the northern, southern, and eastern parts of the country. Off into the river, but the negative aspect is what concerns us. Flood control experts Akim Ogumbambi highlights the dangers inherent in some parts of the road to erosion if drastic and urgent action is not taken to salvage the situation. Minister of Water Resources Suleiman Adamu assures that the federal government will soon swing into action to address the challenge. Those portions that are affected, we have to look at the design again and probably uh, begin to think of raising the level of the road at those points so that uh, we do not cause a lot of uh, problem, a disruption and maybe probably loss of lives and destruction of property. So this is a big wake-up call. This is a great opportunity to, to really put this on the agenda and see how we factor it into budgets. And now is the right time that we have change. We have computer-aided design. We should be able to redesign them. Remember the E2 Calabar Road, see the same thing. also need to address them speedily so that we don't even lose the entire road. The Lagos Ibadan Expressway was commissioned in August 1978 by the then military administration of former president Olusegun Obasanjo, Adebola, Brooklyn Sunday, NTA News.